A horrific accident on a world-famous amusement park ride turned a fun family outing into a day of tragedy. Years later, the community hopes to finally have some closure. In 2014, Schlitterbahn Amusement Park opened Verrucht, the world's tallest water slide. Meaning insane in German, Verrucht stood over 17 stories tall and had a 60-degree drop that accelerated riders to nearly 70 miles per hour. Once you're strapped down, it's kind of just hang on for dear life. You can't look down, it's literally they open the gate and you're like, oh, and then the raft drops and you can't see anything but netting and sky. For two years, adrenaline junkies from near and far came to ride Verrucht. Then on August 7th, 2016, 10-year-old Caleb Schwab, the son of a former member of the Kansas legislature, got on the ride. We were actually in the warm pool where the bar is and they alerted us that everyone needs to get out of the water. Basically, I'd heard a couple loud booms, like boom, boom. I looked at my cousin who was standing next to me and I said, I think that's the body outside of the raft. Caleb was killed after the raft he was in went airborne at the crest of the second hill and he struck a support hoop. The tragedy left the community stunned. A lot of times you're saying, you may be thinking that could have been my child. And how would I have felt if that was my child? It brought tears to my eyes that someone else lost their child. That's my child's age that I'm sure they felt was safe. After the tragedy, the safety and design of the ride came under heavy scrutiny. A clip from the Travel Channel show, Extreme Water Parks began to circulate, showing test runs prior to the opening of the slide in which rafts filled with sandbags went airborne. The slide was redesigned to include safety netting before its grand opening, but according to one family that had a similar scare just weeks before the fatal accident, that didn't mean it was foolproof. We found out what happened and we were just sick, thinking, oh my gosh, the same thing likely happened where the raft went airborne and this young little guy was killed. The stitching was coming out of the boat. I did not feel safe on that ride at all. I did not feel safe with just a piece of Velcro holding me in and me having to hold myself in. State regulations were also called into question. In fact, at the time, there were none. There is no Kansas statute and no city codes that really allow us to go and inspect the operation of those rides. In terms of whether the ride was designed properly or operates the way it should, we have no authority to check any of that. Do you know who does in Kansas? No one. Just three days after Caleb's death, the park reopened. Verrucht, however, remained closed for the season. My son loves it, loves going to Schlitterbahn, but I mean, I don't know if I'll go again. Police began investigating Caleb's death as a criminal case. In March 2018, Jeff Henry, the co-owner of Schlitterbahn Park, and John Shuley, the designer of the slide, were charged with second-degree murder. The park's operations director, Tyler Miles, was charged with involuntary manslaughter. I don't know why people think this is a criminal case. It makes no sense to me that it's a criminal case. It's, it's just not. The indictment said that Jeffrey Henry, the visionary and designer of Verrucht, dropped out of high school. He had no technical or engineering credentials, yet controlled key decisions for Verrucht's construction. Mr. Henry and Salidabon Corporation did everything that they could to ensure that this ride was safe. And by that I mean they, along with their families, their kids, their children, all rode that ride. Meanwhile, two other employees of Schlitterbahn, John Zalsman and David Hughes, were charged with obstruction of justice. Prosecutors allege the two maintenance workers may have knowingly lied to investigators. Both men were found not guilty in October of 2018. They're not the directors of the park. They don't make managerial decisions. The idea that a blue-collar maintenance worker is going to go there to try to throw off a KBI investigation, uh, for what? In February of 2019, the charges against Jeff Henry, John Shuley, and Tyler Miles were dropped. The judge ruled the grand jury was presented with improper evidence that could have tainted their decisions, including the Travel Channel video the court ruled was dramatized and made for TV, and therefore not legal evidence. In many respects, the civil justice system is completely incapable of addressing a tragedy such as this because what the family really needs is to turn back the clock and our civil justice system unfortunately can't do that. Caleb is remembered as an energetic, kind boy whose faith was inspiring. Those who attended his funeral were asked to wear orange, Caleb's favorite color. Every teacher, everybody came in contact with him used the same phrase, which is tenderhearted. Caleb was just a tremendously outgoing, gregarious young man, 
loved sports, loved his classmates, and loved his Lord. When my kids were born, Nathan was my pleasure, Caleb was my joy, Alex was my delight, and Isaac's my treasure. And we've lost some joy. We've lost Caleb my joy, but we'll get it back. Verucht was torn down in 2018. In 2019, three years after Caleb's death, the Kansas City water park didn't open for the summer season. As for the future of the park, it appears closed indefinitely. We spoke with a local Kansas City reporter to find out more. This was an eye-opening tragedy for everyone in the state of Kansas. There's no federal regulation when it comes to amusement rides, which I think a lot of people don't realize. Years ago, the state of Kansas went back and toughened these regulations or lack thereof. Now there's the Kansas Amusement Ride Act, which says that rides have to be inspected. They have to get certified, qualified inspectors to do the inspections. So it is sort of setting right what was not in place at all. But at the same time in 2018, the state of Kansas went back and loosened some regulations as it relates to temporary amusement rides. So some people say it's one step forward and one step back. Verrucht was shut down immediately after Caleb's accident, but it wasn't torn down until 2018. Why did it take two years for that to happen? The Attorney General of Kansas ordered that slide stand in its place and not be torn down because it was evidence in a criminal case. And for so long, that water park and that slide were reminders of a horribly painful incident for our city. And it stood for a very long time. And the goal was that the Attorney General was going to go over that slide piece by piece. And essentially, what he was doing he was building a second degree murder case and that was his key piece of evidence. Ultimately, we saw that case fall apart and today where it stands is we do not know what is going to happen. Will somebody be held accountable? We don't know. The judge essentially left open a window and told the attorney general that there was a possibility that he could bring a case again in the future through an indictment or a grand jury. Schlitterbahn, if you look on their website, they brag about how wild and crazy their rides are and that's all still very much part of what they do. I mean, it's a family-owned business, and they are very popular and huge in Texas. So is there anything being done in Caleb's memory? He was such a, a sweet little boy, and his fa family really wants to honor that. So what they've done is they have established the Can I Go Play Foundation, and that is for club sports scholarships for kids who need them so that other little kids, other little boys and girls can go play baseball or soccer or whatever it is. So they've done that. And even in their settlement that they made, the $20 million settlement, that money is going to the foundation. The Schwab family has been very open about the fact that they lean on their religion. They're strong in their faith. Their church has helped them. In fact, their church dedicated a bench in Caleb's memory. And that's such a beautiful way to remember Caleb. What is something you feel the Kansas community took away from all of this? You cannot go to a water park and assume that it is safe just because it exists. So just know that when you take your family to a park, be informed and educated about your state and even your county's rules and regulations and laws. What do the laws say about these rides? How do you feel about this story and its outcome? Let us know what you think in the comments below. I'm Alexandra Stone, and this has been your Weekly Dispatch. Click here for the next video, and if you liked this episode, subscribe for more stories like this.